book review is Collage Playground, A Fresh Approach to Creating Mixed Media Art by Kimberly Santiago. Now, um, I love Tisha Moore. Hands up, I said it. I love the way she collages. I love her use of colour. I love everything about that. About her. There you go, said it. And um, I don't really know what to do with collage. I really don't. I I love to collage. Um, I find a great joy and a great happiness with just cutting and sticking and pasting in my journal. I love it. Um, and I also love using printed paper to put on my canvases as backgrounds. I love it. But that's as far as it goes. I don't really know what to do with, you know, say for example like how Tisha does by cutting out heads and eyes and legs and and making something from that. I, I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. Um, obviously, I know how to cut and stick, but I don't know how she puts it together in such a way that it looks so cool. Um, so I have a great big green-eyed monster thing going on. I love it. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of find out a little bit more about collage and kind of... Um, what I can do and how I can use it and everything and so I stumbled across Collage Playground. Um, don't know why I chose this over any other collage book but I did. I think, um, I mean I, I quite like the colour purple and I quite like the vintage thing and I judged a book by a cover. <laughs> I did. But I'm glad I did. Um, and it, it, she does things with paper I hadn't even thought of. I mean we did for example, we did weaving um, when I was at school, and um, I, you know, that was kind of for me. That was something that I left at school, and I never, I would never have thought to have used a weaving technique in my artwork, but she does. And it's cool, but I, I don't know why. I think, I think as an adult, you kind of. Um, I don't know, you kind of think these things are childish or why would you do it, but what a cool technique and it looks really cool. Seriously, why would you not go back to doing weaving? And I think that's really sad as an adult how you how you kind of lose some of that creativity and some of that, well, why not kind of approach. And I guess that's what she's kind of trying to get over by calling it Playground. And throughout the book she says, let's play, let's do this. And... And she's right, you know, why can't we just play and have fun and enjoy the process? And if it looks rubbish at the end, does it matter as long as you've had fun and you've enjoyed it? That's all that matters, huh? Right? So that's kind of what she's really trying to drum into you. And I think she does it really well. There's not really kind of a, it's not, um, a book that you'd sit down and read as in a reading book because it is just all how-to's it is all step-by-step how-to's um so if you're looking for a how-to book on collage go for this um and just the way she puts things together and her use of her use of color is just amazing i mean look that lady all collaged fabulous um some of it's a bit odd i don't necessarily get it there's a weaving in a proper pa in a, as a as an image. Love it. Um, yeah, some of it, some of it's a bit odd um, in terms of you know art per se. But then uh, just because I don't get it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get it and won't like it. If you see what I mean. And now I'm trying to find you the one that I saw before I decided to record this. And now I can't find it, which is just always the way. Yeah, here you go. I don't get that. I don't get it. That's just me. Whoops, he fell over. But, I'm sure someone will, but the techniques that she tells you how to create that is what's good about the book. Um, you know, she uses different naming and different collage techniques. I just, some of it you wouldn't even really think it's, you know, it's uh, collage, to be honest. Um, you know, she just such a random variety of techniques that I'm actually finding it really hard to show you because 
there's just so much and there's nothing that really kind of necessarily I mean, the back hall is that? This lady. Love it. Um, so yeah, it's basically just all how to's, so it's all step by steps on how to create her pieces. Obviously it's hard to recreate if you don't have the exact ephemera, but you can just kind of take it and apply it yourself. So it kind of just gets you to think a little bit more about collage and, you know, just pushing yourself a bit more. But yeah. So there we go. Um, I definitely think it's, if you're interested in collage anyway, and it's something that you want to experiment with a bit more, then give it a go. Go for it. Um, because you haven't really got that much to lose. Um, I don't actually know how much it really is, because I bought it on Amazon in the marketplace. Um, so I only bought it for like £2, because it was second hand. So I don't actually know how much it costs if you'd buy it new. But for me, £2 was an absolute bargain and a definite, definite, you know, why not? Um, so I don't really know if it is expensive. So, but anyway, I would just say it's a good book to have. And I, mm -hmm, I'd probably give it, I'd probably give it an 8 or a 9 because it is a good book for, for technique. Whilst I don't necessarily like all of her imagery, I do like quite a lot. But it's just kind of made me think about different ways that I could use my ephemera in ways that I hadn't really done before. So it's College Playground, A Fresh Approach to Creating Mixed Media Art by Kimberly Santiago.